Well, as it turns out, Ford Bronco seems to be the most safest off-roader you could buy. The Bronco's had an extremely rough start here. It's been a tough one for Ford. I think as things have progressed here and as time has went on, I think the Bronco's production's gotten better, the quality control's gotten better. Um, I hope so, at least. Uh, the more I look at them, the more I see them out in, in, in the open, out in the wor real world, the more I can appreciate the certain things, I guess, Ford chose to do when it comes to their decisions in terms of material design and whatnot with the Ford Bronco. But now I can honestly say that there is a huge plus to, to the new Bronco uh, compared to its competitor, the Jeep Wrangler, and that is its crash test ratings. I wanna talk about the IIHS's new um, discoveries here for the crash test ratings on the new Ford Bronco and uh, exactly how it did. And by the way, like I said, I'm actually really surprised with that. All right, so you may or may not have seen it. I have no clue. I just now seen it. And that's the IIHS's um, crash test results for the new Bronco. I think the most impressive part about the ratings is the front overlap crash test, which is kind of like the kind of, it's the most controversial and yet probably seemingly one of the most important crash test ratings you can have on any vehicle. And almost all vehicles never really pass this test. Um, I mean, anymore, I think a lot of auto manufacturers are looking into, you know, designing the vehicles to withstand these kind of uh, front end collisions and pass it better. But as far as many vehicles go and, and including off-roading vehicles and trucks and stuff like the Jeep Wrangler, uh, they've never really done that well. So the Ford Bronco surprisingly passed the front overlap crash test with flying stars. It's incredible how well it did in those tests. You know, you take one man's word for something and yeah, that's one thing, but they actually do do something that's really nice. They do um, do video recordings, of course, that they submit for public review. So the public has a better understanding to make an educated choice, knowing that if their vehicle is safe or safer than the other. So here, check out this clip. This is just gonna be a small snippet here of the crash test. And look how well it does how well the front end just kind of just absorbs it. Um, it doesn't shift the vehicle around too much. And it seems like the driver would be perfectly unharmed, I would say. It looks like the side airbags do a good job controlling um, the crash dummy from going too far to the left. I mean, I'm honestly seriously impressed with these crash test ratings. Um, and for me, crash test ratings is actually a huge deciding factor when, when purchasing a vehicle. You know, it's one thing when you're driving something old like my Fiero, you know, that's it kind of comes with the territory. But when you're looking for a nice new vehicle, especially one you're spending a whole lot of money on, one of the biggest things I look for is its safety in a crash. The Bronco would be a very safe vehicle in a crash. Now, here's the only thing I wonder. See, now this crash test was done with what looks like, I don't know, like you're at the Badlands, you know, the low end model with the, the regular size steel wheels. I don't think they performed this crash test with anything, with any of a larger wheel um, and tire setup that is offered on the Bronco. See, now I don't know if having the larger wheels would change the results of this test at all. I don't know. As far as the base Bronco goes, yeah, it's a pretty safe vehicle in, in this kind of crash. Actually, overall, if you take a look here, it's got a good rating. It passes pretty much every crash test rating that they have. So as far as the IIHS is concerned, it is an extremely safe vehicle. And yeah, I would say so. Most of the crash test videos would suggest that it does very well at protecting the occupants during a crash. And that's extremely awesome to know. And as a quick comparison, here's the uh, results here for the Jeep Wrangler. Um, it, you know, it got, it did okay in the in overlap test. Uh, the big issue was it was unstable and actually flipped over on its side, which obviously could increase to further injuries and obviously gonna increase further damage or even more damage to other vehicles around it. Um, so it's not really good that it did that. As for everything else, it seemed to do just as good as the Bronco. Um, it's just a big difference here is that front overlap crash test. Uh, 
Bronco definitely takes the cake there. And it's really impressive because the type of vehicle the Bronco is. Um, generally, it's, those vehicles suffer inherently um, because of their design. So I'd say this really is a huge win here for Ford and Ford Bronco. Um, you know, it's had a rough start, but knowing that it's at least a very safe vehicle, you know, while we can't really yet put off whether it's going to be reliable long term or not, we could definitely say it's going to be a safe one. So uh, as, as far as most people are concerned, it's going to do well at protecting them, the family, whoever, whoever rides in that vehicle is going to do a good job of protecting them in the worst case scenario. And that's actually a huge thing. And to me, this really does make me happy to see at least while the Bronco might not have a V8, it might not be as exciting as something like the 392 Wrangler or, or whatever, at least I know it's not going to kill someone if the worst case scenario happens. So there's that. Way to go Ford and Team Bronco. Anyway, it's gonna be it for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share with everyone you know if you wanna see more content like this and you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Keep a look at for our next true car enthusiast video.